Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. The UK becomes the first country to approve a COVID vaccine that fights both the original strain and the Omicron variant. The UK is the first place in the world to license uh, this new medicine, uh, and it means that uh, people get access to a broader immunity than would otherwise have been the case. The Taliban celebrate the first anniversary of their return to power in Afghanistan, but not everybody is cheering, especially women and girls. One big thing among others that challenges the more moderate image they're trying to portray is the restrictions they've imposed on women. The fact that they haven't allowed girls to go to secondary schools in most of Afghanistan, the only country in the world to do so. China military, China's military launches fresh drills off Taiwan. It's in response to a visit to the island by a new group of American lawmakers. And world leaders meet in an attempt to reach an agreement on a treaty to protect the world's oceans from exploitation. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday.